Hello, okay, so today and tomorrow our goal is going to be multiplication accuracy. I want to remind you that they can use a multiplication chart with this. Um, at this point, if they don't know their facts, they're not going to be able to do the multiplication that they have to do without it. And we spent our time yesterday making sure they all know how to make it, so it is okay for them to use a multiplication chart. Now, they've learned two different ways to do this in the classroom. I'm going to start with a way that may be newer to some of you called partial product or window pane. It can be called, it's the same thing. So when I have a problem like this, it's a two digit times two digit. So they set up, this is why it's called window pane, looks like a window pane. And they break, they decompose this into the tens and ones. So 29 would be 20 and nine, and 63 would be 60 and three. And they begin um, by multiplying, it lines up just like a multiplication chart. So I do 60 times 20. Most of them look at it as two times six, 12, and then I have a 10 and a 10, so I've got two zeros here, and I put that at the back of it, um, because a 10 times a 10 would be 100. Then, 9 times 60, which would be 54, I've got one zero here, I add one zero to the back of it, because um, a 10 times a 1 will equal that 10 group, so 6 tens times 9 ones would be 540. Now, um, come down here, 20 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, got one zero behind there, I put that there. Now my next one, 3 times 9 is 27. Now the reason this is called partial product is because I have all these little products and I have to add them together to get my final one. So how they add them together, the order really doesn't matter, we just have to have all these pieces added together. So we do 1,200 plus 6. equals 1,260, now I'm gonna, so I've added these up here, now I'm gonna put it 540 plus 27, six and five. Now I need to combine these two together. So I'm just gonna bring this product right here and put it below this one to add it. Like I said, they may have different orders in which they do it and that's okay as long as they're combining all of them together. And then one, two, three, plus the five is eight. Okay, so my final product is 1,827. Now, the other way that they've learned is more is the traditional algorithm which most of us learned in school. So three times nine is 27. Three times two is six plus two more, eight. Now I'm gonna come down and bring a zero because I'm going over to the tens place since I'm holding that place value so that I'm in tens. 6 times 9 is 54. I'll cross that out because I've finished that one already. 6 times 2 is 12 plus that 5 is 17. Now I'm going to add it together. So I have 7 plus 0 is 7. 8 plus 4 is 12. Um, 1 plus 2, I'm sorry, 1 plus 7 is 8. And then bring down my final 1 and then I have my product. If they can do both ways, it is awesome because then they can check their work. Um, 